Hi everyone, and welcome to this video on how to change your domain MX records through the Fastos control panel. So to start, we need to log into our Fastos control panel. So go to fastos.co.uk, go to login, and it's the control panel login. And then just log in using your usual username and password. So in this uh, video example, I'm going to change my MX records over to use the Google MX records. Uh, and I can, I've can i got the guide open here, I can see what I need to change them to. So that's what I'm going to do. So in the Fastos control panel, you go to your domain section. And now click on the domain that you want to change your MX records for. I'm going to change them for fictitiousconsulting.com. So the first thing to check is that you're using the Fastos name servers because if you're not, then these changes aren't going to make any difference. So it should be ns1, ns2, and ns3.livedns.co.uk. Now we'll go into the advanced DNS section. So now we can currently see, if we scroll down, that was a bit far, sorry, scroll down here to the MX records, and we can see that the current record is mailserver.fictitiousconsulting.com, which is the Fastos mail platform at the moment. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and add the Google records. So if we do click add MX record, and we can see the following information. So we've got host name, points to, and priority. Now, host name should stay blank if you're just changing it for the main domain. So we're just going to leave that blank for now. If we go over to Google and check out what records we need, so we've got mail server is this here. So points to there, and priority one for this one. So we'll add that in. And that's been added, so if we go down we can see that one. So priority, um, just as a, a bit of a quick explanation, is uh, going to be uh, how the priority of the mail servers here. So priority one is the highest priority, so if when someone sends you an email, the mail server, the SMTP server is going to check, uh, check with this mail server before anyone else because it's priority one. If we add another one, I'm not going to add all of these just because it's kind of a bit pointless. Uh, so if we copy that one and points to uh, and priority was five so we just put five in there and what you'll see when we add that one is that that's the next priority what I'm going to do now is go ahead and remove this one here because as you can see we've got two of the Google ones and then we've got the Fastos ones so for whatever reason if these two um, if these two servers were down for whatever reason it happens sometimes then the mail would get sent to the Fastos mail platform which I don't want because I'm not going to have a mailbox there because I want all my email to get delivered to Google so I'm going to go right ahead and just remove that MX record there So there we go, now we've got those two Google ones, and that's all there is to it. I'm not going to add the rest of these because I'm guessing by this point uh, we've kind of shown you what we need to. So that's how you change the MX records. Now there is, if, if that's um, all you need to do, then you can go ahead and close the video now. But if you're using a, a server or something that you control where you want to use your domain name as your MX record, so for example, I would want to have mail. Uh, fictitiousconsulting.com as my MX record, I would need to make sure I add an A record in there as well because because it's a, a, um, a DNS record for fictitiousconsulting.com, we've got to make sure there's a matching A record. So if we go right ahead and just remove these two here. And um, we're going to go ahead and add mailserver.livemail, uh, dot fictitious consulting. Let's just copy that so I don't have to type it all out. And priority one, why not? There we go. So now. MX, we've got the MX record for mail.fictitiousconsulting.com, but we've got to make sure that A record is pointing to the right place. So 
Go up to your list of A records and check the host name, so mail, and it points to 213.171.21640. Now, that at the moment is the fastest platform. So, if I had a dedicated or virtual server and I wanted to keep that mail, that MX record the same, all I'd need to do is change the IP address of the host name to my server address and then all the mail that got sent to mail.fictitiousconsultant.com would go to my server rather than the fast hosts platform. And that's how to change your MX records if you've got a server or uh, something that relies on uh, your domain name for its DNS. And that's all there is to it. Thanks very much for watching. Goodbye for now.